Hi guys, I just wanted to jump on and let you see my Law of Attraction Planner for this upcoming week. Okay, so I'm not going to start by going through the whole planner, but we are going to start at the month in review because the month in review is a good way to plan your next month. So when we looked at the August uh, month in review, it's a good place to begin your um, September. So let's go to September's month in review, which is blank. And um, I'm not gonna show you like specifics because the law of attraction says that you should just put it out there for the universe. You don't need to say it. You don't need to share it with anybody because the universe is doing the work for you. So I'm gonna keep the important things um, between me and the universe. All right. So there are two reflection pages for the month. Uh, we'll start on the first one. You've got your celebrate your top 10 achievements. Was I in harmony? I think there's like eight categories, which is career, finance, personal growth, health, family, relationships, social life, and attitude. And it goes from one to 10. So you just kind of color in or shade in uh, from one to 10 how you felt. And that kind of gives you a visual representation of your uh, harmony. And the next section is, you may not be closing your eyes, but you, Say, what did I learn this month? Uh, what was the distractions, the blocks, the fears? Um, how did I make myself feel good? Uh, what did I, what didn't happen and why? And people I learned from and who inspired me and what actions can I take to improve? So these are already good uh, categories to think about uh, to help you for the next month. So the next or the second page is more of kind of like a writing section. So at the top, it says, what are the greatest insights that you have gained over the past month? And how do I feel about my progress this month? How do I stay in the flow of allowing and enjoying the journey regardless of the outcome? What obstacles or fears did I encounter inside myself? What did I learn from watching my emotional vibration daily? What was the most common negative emotion? How did I accept, let go and move up the emotional scale? Did I fully enjoy whatever I was doing this month? Was I really here or was I just showing up? And how can I be more present? Now, this is a really good planner because um, it doesn't leave you high and dry. Some of the stuff may have been like, well, I've never really thought about that before. But at the back of this planner, there is um, a couple of pages that kind of show you, that kind of tell you how to fill out the planner. So let's just quickly look at that. Even though I did say that it wasn't going to go through the planner. But let's just quickly see. Um, let me show you how... Um, they help you along. So this section is um, reflecting on the year, but obviously you can kind of do this um, for, this can be applied to the month. It actually has the same categories. The only thing it doesn't have um, in the monthly section is this section right here, which is like design your next year, but you know, that's kind of self-explanatory. So here you go, so step eight, reflect and celebrate. So yeah, it does actually have, this is on page 269. So obviously you can see it's quite a big book. So yeah, they definitely uh, give you um, some pointers and um, they tell you how to work the book because there's nothing worse than getting a book and not knowing what you should be doing with it, right? Okay, so I, um, I kind of like touched upon this in August and I didn't fill it out all the way, but I kind of filled it out like a summary and I took that and I went to like a after every month there's like two note pages and so they're blank and so I was writing down like what I wanted to kind of um, accomplish or get done so let me just turn it around to show you what my notes are for the month at the beginning of the month so um, I first wanted to focus on the harmony those eight sections so I wrote out the um, different sections here and I like to do stickers. So I have a little Believe in Yourself sticker here. I thought it was cute. And then here are um, some of my ideas that I wanted to do. So I wanted to do um, career, do things on time, like no procrastination, which is obviously helpful. Finance, pay bills on time. 
and I don't pay bills late, but I just wanted to be proactive, not really wait till the last day they would do. Um, personal growth, audiobooks, health, um, just kind of definitely make sure I drink more water, get in some exercise, family, have more happy times, relationships, be nice. I mean, that's obviously a really easy one, but you know, you can, you can forget social life, um, you know, an attitude. So, so when you go to, when we go to the month in view, look, you'll see that there's a section for goals. And so, um, my goal is I have three goals, um, supplements, just to kind of take supplements, um, productivity. So I've got home productivity, um, work productivity. And my next one, let me see. Oh, my next one is a personal one, which I want to show you. So let's go to the month in view and they have these little tabs. So this is what it looks like. So it's got a calendar view here and I'll start to fill it out. And like these G's and MB's, I've kind of done a little key down here. Goals is a um, list five things in the gratitude app uh, each day. I mark that on here with G and drink eight glasses of water. That's going to be marked with W and make the bed, which is going to be MB. And then obviously did a little sticker. Um, so then I done a little like prioritize, priority list, keep on smiling. And then, um, let me see. And then obviously here as a section to say like desired goals and why, and then what you get as a reward for achieving those goals. And then it has over here, um, the what steps you need to take to achieve those goals. So I think it's quite good. And sorry, over here is the goal for September, feel good, in, feel good intention and skills, habits to learn. So I feel like that's all a really good thing. And um, yeah, so now let's go to the week. Um, sorry, here it is. Oh, here we go. So over here, I have these little stickers, because like I said, I like stickers. I think I got these from either Hobby Lobby or, I think it was, I think it was Hobby Lobby. Or maybe it was Target, I don't know. But this is just a back to school list, like all the things I know I need to kind of make sure that needs to happen before Tuesday. Today is Sunday. So we are kind of down to the wire. And so each page has the goal of the week and reward of achieved and then like this week's priorities split into top priority, priority and delegation and errands. And then every um, week there's a quote. So this week's quote is by Oprah Winfrey. It says opportunity may knock only once but temptation leans on the doorbell. So that's kind of saying that like there's always going to be a constant temptation but opportunity is um, rare. So I've got here a to-do list, which is um, top priority and priority, fix the car seat, clean my car, uh, and then clean office space and wash bedding. So yeah. So today, um, and then obviously up here was got gratitude, thank the universe, thank the universe. And then uh, today was Sunday, so we went to a playground, we had lunch at Panera Bread, we went to a splash pad and then to a playground. And then I'm working on switching over my handbags. Um, and then, let's see. I've got, um, I just wanted to do a couple of things today, whether I will or not, I don't know. Like timesheet, clean up inbox, something else, something else. And then tomorrow is Liberty. So, um, I don't know why I said, I said school, but yeah. Maybe it's just to take care of these things, but I've kind of like planned it out so far what my thing looks like. I've got my to do, I'm going to make a to-do list every day at the end of the every day because that's kind of what all my product productivity goals is to make to-do lists. But let's just start up here. Like each, each day has a to -do, today's goal and then like I guess that's a reward if you get it. And then priorities, so I just put a stick up here. And so, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the dated planner and the dated one starts on Sundays. So um, my goals or priorities for Tuesday are 
to get my son to school on time, to be productive, and have a great uh, doctor appointment. So, yeah, these are uh, things. And then color-coded here are the um, personal appointments. And then these are my work meetings so far. Usually, I would have another personal appointment on Monday and a, a work meeting on Monday morning. Um, but that's Labor Day, so we're not obviously going to have those. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have so far as far as meetings. Um, yeah. And then down here is another little section that has... It's basically whatever you want. So I just heard it was universe. I mean, stick this is the universe has your back, and I have thank you universe. So that's how I'm using my planner. And then I've kind of like um, done the next week, and like I have this little section right here. It says reminders, and it's like get birthday cards. It's like Dad Haiti, Jerry, Dad Wayne. So those are that's in the order of birthdays, apart from these three. I thought I never knew the order, but I think Jerry's first and then Dan Haney. Anyways, um, so that's what I have. Yeah, and so obviously we are in September 2020, and this is how much is left still. So, yeah. So I had someone um, ask about planners, and I was like, oh, the Law of Attraction planners. So then I kind of started looking around on YouTube and Instagram about different types of planners. And there's a couple ones that I was thinking about myself for next year. There's one called the Passion Planner, which I kind of felt like was really close to the Law of Attraction Planner. So I was thinking, well, why do something that's really quite close? I'd just stick to like what I already know. And there's one called Panda Planner, which is kind of like basic. Um, it's not basic, basic, like a Dollar Tree one. It's basic as in like slim down like the goals and stuff it's not really as in depth as the uh law of attraction one so i think i might just stick to the law of attraction planner and something i did find uh quite interesting is that law of attraction planner or book they have one that's like just a month but you write on it with a special pen and then you can actually transfer all online or to the cloud and then you put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it erases everything so if you are into um, having one book and then erasing everything and using the same book over and over again, then that may be for you. But if you like stickers, then um, you probably won't want to do that one book that you can put in the microwave. Anyways, all right. Well, I hope you liked my uh, Law of Attraction uh, Planner Week uh, in preview. Um, let me know in the comments uh, if you have a Law of Attraction Planner or if you have a different planner. All right. Bye, guys. All right, guys. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps in the YouTube algorithm. All right. Well, till the next one. Bye.